Lulu dear, although a brontosaurus is cute in a long neck, pinhead kind of way, it is much too huge and too wild to be a good pet. What about a dog, a cat, a goldfish, a gerbil, a guinea pig for goodness sakes? But a brontosaurus, definitely no. you mama, fully on you daddy. If you guys want to buy me a brontosaurus for my birthday, I'm going out to find one for myself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna get a bronto, 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 brontosaurus for a pet. Well, I got some news for you. A person has a pet. An animal is a pet. A person can't be an animal's pet ever. And I have some news for you. You're about to be the first person ever to be an animal's pet. Congratulations and once again, happy birthday. Yes, yes, yes. I'll feed you and pat you and play with you and treat you nicely. All I expect from you is to sit and roll over and fetch a ball and do cute little tricks. Lulu and the Brontosaurus, written by Judith Beatrice, illustrated by James Smith. Lulu is a rambunctious little girl. And because she is an only child, her parents have always given Lulu whatever she wanted. And for her birthday, Lulu announces she wants a brontosaurus for a pet. And for the first time, Lulu hears the word no. Her parents refuse to give her a brontosaurus. Lulu goes on a 13-day temper tantrum. and her parents still refuse to her request. So Lulu storms out the house. She packs her little suitcase and marches into the forest looking for a brontosaurus for a pet. Well, Lulu finds that brontosaurus, but he has no intentions of being her pet. Instead, he captures Lulu and Lulu becomes his pet. Poor, poor Lulu. What will become of her? Will she ever get to go back home to her loving, kind parents? Or will she be held captive forever? Being a dog girl, a pet of a brontosaurus. Well, I'll never tell. To find out what happens in this story, you'll have to read it for yourself. Lulu and the Brontosaurus. Happy reading!